You know, spanning over two decades, you have to agree with me that uh, I am not handing over to uh, a stranger, uh, and, and and therefore I'm, I'm feeling uh, extremely confident that um, the work that we've done together will be continued at the, at the uh, Honorable uh, Justin Muturi. Um, uh, CS, um, I want to assure you that um, uh, we have a great team here. Uh, this is a ministry, as the peer has, has said, that is um, uh, very, um, you know, um, very important and very pivotal in the in the in the affairs of uh, of our government. Uh, because we are the software, we are the people, we are the hands. That uh, you know, um, when we talk about government, this is government. Anybody else claiming to be government? is an employee of these people, including uh, his Excellency the President. Uh, the bosses are, 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 are here. Uh, and so therefore, uh, and this is very, very important point, because the one million people who work for government of Kenya are all public servants. That's their definition, you know. And, and so uh, you are the biggest employer in the country uh, with one million people. If a HR department in a, a company, a small company, is important. You can start to imagine the human resource department for one million people. And so therefore, it requires um, very diligent uh, management. Um, and I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to take forward from uh, the, the very great work that uh, this team are, are doing. What I would uh, tell you is, uh, first of all, uh, from a human resource point of view, uh, we were in the beginning of um, of course, it's not easy to reform. You know, civil service reform, everybody has, you know, gone around that particular issue from back in 2005 when we initiated the, 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 the civil service reform. Uh, it's, not, uh, it's not an easy topic. And I hope that now that we have a broad-based government, that it will create a conducive environment to do that very difficult, that must be done of reforming uh, our civil service. Uh, I'm sure PS will share with you uh, the, the figures and this team have provided with me before showing that, uh, of course, our age, our working, our working force is aging. Uh, uh, we have got quite, you know, around 20 to 30 percent of people working for government. Uh, by the time, hopefully, if you see uh, your term in this office to the end of this government, you'll go home with 30 percent of the people working for government. That's quite a number. And that calls for very meticulous transition planning and very deliberate decision making as to what must be done because having 30% of uh, civil service uh, transitioning is, 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 is not easy. Of course, productivity remains a huge issue. The wage bill in April, we hired the, the, the third wage bill conference and it was very clear that uh, our wage bill is now uh, in the region of um, 46 percent uh, of uh, our tax collection or you know, of our GDP I think and now we have to bring it down uh, to 35 percent in the next three years we've signed commitment to that I'm sure it's part of our hand of our document the ten commitments that we agreed together with the Council of Governors when when his Excellency the president officiated over over the uh, the public uh, wage bill conference in Bombas of Kenya so those are commitments that were done on live TV, they were done publicly, and um, uh, you know, uh, it, so it must be uh, implemented. I'm sure that uh, that is one of the issues that will give uh, you give attention because if we do not do something about our wage bill now, starting at around 1.1 trillion, from now, from morning until now, we are working for public servants in terms of our tax collection. Only the taxes are to be collected from 3 p.m. Kufunga Kazi. That is what will go to the rest of Kenya. So, and this is a huge issue. It's not just an economic issue. It is a moral issue. Because you people are only 1 million. You consume 1.1 trillion. We collect 2.4 trillion of taxes. The rest of Kenyans scrabble for the other 1.3 between our debts, between our development, between O&M, and all other things. So, uh, the issue of public service reform, managing the wage bill, is not a nice to have. It is a must-have, and I want to assure you that uh, uh, it requires some, uh, you know, some, some, some. Uh, you, you need to, to stay the course. You know, it's not easy, 
uh, and and uh, I can assure you that uh, you will not make uh, many friends. But uh, uh, I will echo the words of the president during the Wedge Bill Conference. In this kind of a job, if you want to be a priest, perhaps you need to consider uh, a career in comedy. Uh, those are the words of the president during the Wedge Bill Conference because it is not easy and the things that are here are not going to win us a lot of uh, our friends. Obviously, we have got uh, this huge issue of uh, uh, ethic, work ethic. We try to resolve it the best way we knew how. Uh, by saying everybody must be on contract, uh, you know, that's a decision uh, that uh, the government has to continue uh, looking at it. But in any case, should you decide to go that direction, you are not short of examples, including in the U.S., where everybody is a contract worker, so that people, when their contracts come up for renewal, they have to account for their productivity, and, and, uh, and that is not easy. Um, the other huge problem we are going to face is on... Uh, the relationship between uh, this Minister of Public Service and the Public Service Commission. Um, I am convinced from where I see it, I know as sure as day follows night, we are going back to Bomas. This constitution must be reviewed and I will personally be on the forefront of that effort to, refer, to review this constitution. One of my priorities is I do not see and I'm convinced I can say it in blood and I'm saying it here, there is no value in the independence of the Public Service Commission. That is one independence. Alongside the National Lands Commission, alongside the Teacher Service Commission, uh, Honorable CS, you know, me and you are part of the uh, ancestors who made this constitution. And so you know, we were in Ibasha with you. And that time, everybody was hiding behind independence. I want to be independent, you know, because we came from a wounded history whereby everybody was trying to use constitution to sort out all the scores that you know they had from 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 the previous year, years but it's about time now to to face it and ask today you only can can say i want someone hired for this position then you totally lose control yeah i i have not seen any uh, value or benefit that having an independent public service commission is having this country and certainly it's one of the issues that we are going to look at when it comes to you know, us reviewing our constitution because you, you are completely powerless. You hear as a ministry has sent something called an indent to public service commission, interviews are happening, you have no idea. Yet you are the one who is in charge of this function of uh, not just public service, but the new department, the new ministry, has aptly named human capital development. Let me assure you, as we speak, that human capital development is just a theory until we look at this issue about the Public Service Commission. And when we are at it, and I can say this even on camera, people who are now hiding behind independent commissions and independent offices, it has become a den of corruption. It is a fact, and I've told the Chairman of the Public Service Commission, and I've told the commissioners that they have some, story, some questions to answer to Kenyans, not to me. Yeah? There are rumors all over. If you want to be hired as a driver, it's 100,000 shillings. It goes, there's, a, there's, a, there's a price list. It goes all up to 5 million shillings for some sensitive positions. But you tell me, somebody who wants to be hired as a driver, where are they going to get 100,000 shillings? Yeah? That is now the benefit of this so-called independence of the Public Service Commission that we give ourselves through this constitution. So I would want Kenyans and all of us to ask ourselves, is buying a job for 100,000 shillings for a driver, a driver who is going to be paid 20,000 shillings, you ask them to cough 100,000 shillings in bribes, you know, it is, it is, it is.